G'day, this is Ozeko, starting a new EU for, EU for Common Sense campaign, this time as France. So, what we're going to try and achieve with this one is the big blue blob achievement, where you have to hold 100 European core provinces before the year 1500. I think I have absolutely no chance of actually succeeding in that, but we'll give it a go anyway. And whether we succeed or not, I'll probably end up going for the better than Napoleon achievement as well, where we have to conquer Vienna, Berlin and Moscow. So. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Might give up at 1500, might not. Depends how it's going at the time, I guess. Now, first thing, uh, rivals. We'll definitely want to rival England, our long-time enemies. Um, we will probably rival, I don't know. Prestige from defeating them, spy offense against them, Diplomatic power cost down for demanding provinces. So, who are we going to actually take stuff from first? I think I'm going to want to vassalize Navarre and probably either Brittany or Provence. So, actually, we can take Provence and Castile or Burgundy. I guess Burgundy just makes sense. All right, who do we actually have a chance of an alliance with? Okay. Not them, because they have a rivalry, of course. Um, Austria would be good. We'll offer them an alliance immediately. They have not rivaled us. And let's see if we can get Brittany on side. Who else will we need? Guaranteeing Scotland, that's fine. Um, ships, all right, money's gonna be an issue, so our lights will go to Bordeaux node, yes. Our heavies will get rid of the transports. Transports will mothball and the heavies will mothball. Forts, we're gonna keep up. Now it's going to be weird playing from the start again with the forts being so weak. I'm used to the fortresses, the massive defensive bonuses. Um, what else do we need to do? Right, select a mission, improve our prestige, reclaim Normandy. I dare say so. All right, let's go for that one. Uh, what else? Let's check the money. Making two ducats, so it would be good to get ahead. All right, the tech. Um, I think I'm going to want to get ideas out quickly, and we'll need admin points no matter what anyway. Oh, for God. Need level ones. Here we go. Diplomatic reputation, I think, will be vital. And fort defense, possibly. National manpower, I'd say definitely. So let's go for these two to start with. Really wish we'd get one there. Oh, what are we paying for here? Got an extra leader, all right. So we'll get rid of the one with the lowest siege value. Okay, let's get started. Speed one, it's a bit slow. Let's go speed three for a while. All right, wait till they come home. Okay, Brittany accepted, Austria accepted, good. So, do we want anyone else? Possibly Milan or Savoy? What is Savoy's attitude? Decent, so we get one more. What about Aragon? Aragon would accept, but we'll definitely go for them then. They are rival to Austria, so it's probably a bad idea, but they're a rival to England as well. All right, Aragon accepted. Let's wait for the next diplomat comes home. Game's a bit jerky there, all right. So what are we doing next? I think, well, let's have a look at Brittany. Could we vassalize them? Economic base is not high enough, so it's probably not going to happen. 
pipe for a box. Let's get rid of this window. As subjects, not yet. So we're not going to vassalize anyone anytime soon. Um, Navar actually was something we're definitely going to go for. He would accept. So we're going to improve relations with him, and our guy's going to sit there as long as necessary. All right, other diplomats home. I think we need to retake cause immediately. Not just cause, but our cause. So, didn't even look at the armies. All right. We have this bloke for some reason. Get down here. This guy will need to be in charge. England has a fort there. And a fort there. And Calais as well, probably. Yeah. So Calais is not a core. We'll let England keep that for a while. Otherwise, he's allied with Portugal. Well, if we jump in, how's it going to go? Aragon joins in. Austria does not. Brittany does not. Sounds fine. We will make Gascon. Well, wow. yeah, we'll go for Gascon. All right, let's declare. Let's see how badly this is going to go. Alliance offer from Navarre. We don't want to do that. We shouldn't get a negative penalty from it. Oh, it'll take ages anyway. So, let's send him directly to the fort. We'll send him to Gascon. Uh, supply limits are abysmal, so I'll actually split this. Go do some looting. Alright, Portugal have honoured. Hopefully Aragon will be able to take care of Portugal. Diplomats back. Let's have a look at the numbers. 38 to 29. I'm used to this numbers being like 300,000 onto 200,000. Oh. Get used to the early game again, I guess. They're pretty evenly split. England has more. So Aragon 13-5 to Portugal's 10-3. So we might need to go and help out for a bit. Oh, we'll see how quickly we can get England down. Probably be a good time to get our heavies out. What's the fleet look like? We'd be absolutely smashed. So where are our three? There. These guys. No, we're blue. I'm used to being England. All right. It's wondering why it wasn't going into our port. It's not ours anymore. All right. Got to remember, we're blue now. We're the enemy. Didn't help that he looked like he was in Gascony either. Oh. Paragon on our border. All the Anais. Oh yes, we're Catholic. This will be interesting. Gascon, good. Join these two together. Um, what is going to happen here? We get three, we don't get... Yep, here comes the enemy. So we're not going to stick our heads out to blockade. Uh, can we get through Spain? We can. Do we want to? Absolutely not. Let's... Well, how big is Iglin's army? How many transports do they have is a better call? 14. They have 9. So, if we go straight up to Normandy, we should be able to catch him landing, hopefully. It'd be nice to have another leader, but not paying Diplo for it. Castile entered with Portugal. I shouldn't be able to call them in. You know what? Let's get Aragon to go up to Calais. Naples, actually. We tell Aragon to go to Lisboa. Let's see if they'll separate and do that nicely. Kind of doubt it, but... We might get lucky. 
So it was Gascon, yeah. So war score will start ticking up. Royal marriage, absolutely. Actually, while our other diplomat's doing nothing, we should chuck him in Austria. Attitude towards enemies. They don't care about England. All right. Well, if he's going to do that, we'll go over here. Get out just in time not to take attrition. Also, don't get any loot, but it should be fine. Got a bit of a war chest at the moment. Still making money too. That reminds me, the message settings. Um, let's go best guess. You're guessing basically everyone. All right. I guess that's good enough. Um, actually resetting the thing, where's that? Here, no. I can't even remember anymore. Well, I'll sort out the message settings later because there's a whole bunch of stuff turned off that I want turned on, but I don't know, do it between videos. I touch it like once every six months so I don't really remember how to do it, that's fine. Nevers is fabricating on champagne. Really? Who's Nevers? You. He's gonna die. Alright, so if we actually control all of the English spots, then it'll take him a lot longer to land anyone if he decides to as well. Which would be a good idea. Hopefully, Portugal won't come marching through and smash them. really want a level one. I'm not going to pay to get rid of one of them. I'll oh, deal with it. Ah, uh, so it's almost a year gone past already and we haven't got any more cores. <laughs> God, get a hundred in 50 years, basically. It's going to be a stretch. Oh, here, Egypt. Should not have to tell you to do that. You're already doing it. Alright, so watching out for England and watching out for Portugal. Try and keep an eye. I'll show him Portugal would come through Nevers. Water shortage, awesome. And we lost core because he just walked away from that siege. I don't know why he did that. That war again. No. No idea why he's in Burgundy. Who's that? Alright. Oh, heart's pumping. Really want to get out of this quickly and easily with all the cores. I don't even know if we can get all the cores. I doubt it. I guess we'd have to jump the pond to get London for enough water score to actually do as much as we want to do. Hmm. Who's England allied with? Portugal. So hopefully he'll ally with someone that we can declare on later. One Laborde. Good. Should we try and get Portugal out of the war? That's like 17 stack, so I don't think so. I think we'll stay here for a bit. We've already looted it. Stay there and loot 18 out of that. Let's have a look at what we're going to need. We don't have a diplomat, so we go. All right, forget that. Let's send Naples up there. Hmm. It's going to take quite some time. How much are we getting? 
two. So we stay there for nine months. Uh, I'm feeling this is going to be a long war. Well, we're not going to need any admin to um, core anything, though, because we're only taking cores. So, yeah, it should be alright. So, we want to get the idea group first. And then, alright, save up for coring, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Humanist would be good, but quantity would be better because then we can keep the points for coring. Yeah. What are the first ideas? Hey, there's Portugal. It's going to do small, stupid stuff like that. We'll go squash him. Um, what was looking at? Ideas. What are the first couple in Humanist? Unity up. Unrest down. Tolerance. Yeah, we need to get here for it to start being worth it. Whereas quantity. Manpower up. Recovery speed. Regiment costs. Wow. Land maintenance. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go for quantity to use military points so we can spare the admin points. Alright, Aragon's going down to do it as well. We're going to get the prestige. Going to need to chase a personal union. Equal. Alright, smash them and squash them. Good. Alright, then we will head back up. Do some more looting. Hmm, what was the mission? Normandy. So we're going to have to take that as one if we can. Guillaume de Bosquet and Robert de la Moth. Robert of the Moth. Okay. Oh, Calais is coming along. Military access from Nevers. Go for it. Anybody who asks is going to get it. <laughs> Just not going to make the mistake we did in the England campaign and declare war on somebody with military access. That just you know, screwed us for a century. No, still don't see England trying to do anything yet. How much more do we get off them? 74. All right. I really don't see how you can take that many core provinces in Europe by 1500. Uh, I don't know if anyone's actually done it. Should have a look. See if I can find some videos on how they did it. Gain manpower. Nice. Burgundy. Who is this? Brabant? Who are they going for? Who are you all with? England and Portugal. Awesome. Nice one, England. Which means we had damn well better split one of these guys off and send him to Normandy. So that when these guys walk away, the other guys don't go and siege it down. Losing war score for some reason. Where are they? Cesari, Cagliari. Ah, oh, there's the English army. Okay. It's going to be sneaky. 22, 33. It's only 18 there. And Portuguese army's there too. Well, you know what? How many Portuguese? 8 and 3. Out of 8 and 3. Oh my god, if I'd known that. Get over there. Alright, and on that note, I'm going to take a short break. Hope you're enjoying it. See you again soon.